What's going on, y'all? Say hey to the people. Say hey. Hey. You can say hey. Anyways, I know y'all have heard about this 69. So what's his name? Takashi 69. Um, Kanye, Nicki Minaj shootout kind of thing. Thankfully, Nicki Minaj, um, her being late to the scene, you know, she's a woman, so, you know, it, it happens. Um, they shot at her dressing room, and, um, that's really, like, scary. I really think, uh... I don't know what to say about it. And I guess they were trying to shoot at him or it was some jewelry or something he had or something I was I was hearing on the radio. Here's the thing. Um, you know, people are saying, you know, my friend was telling me we had a discussion about Takashi 69 the other day. He was like, You're wrong because you like Fifi and you're playing Fifi. And I was like, I don't like any other music by 69. However, I do think that um this she looking at me like who is you talking to? Um I don't know him. I don't know if he raped anybody, but here's what I asked my friend. And I said, if you're gonna call me wrong for listening to Fifi, you need to call your mom wrong for listening to R. Kelly. Because we apps we have seen him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to stop listening to R. Kelly. But we've actually, we know this is true for R. Kelly because R. Kelly married Aaliyah when she was just 15 years old. Uh, and I don't think he's raping nobody, but I do think he's, he, you know, he's a manipulator. Um, here's the thing with 69, though. Um, he plays all the time. And, you know, not everybody is playing. Not everybody is playing. Uh, everybody's not playing. And 69 is a, like the troll. You know, he says stuff for the likes and uh, the views, the clicks and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, dude, it's him and 50 Cent. The shit is funny. I find it so funny. I think he's hilarious. I don't follow either of them, but I, I enjoy the... The, the things between him and 50 Cent when they do their little videos or whatever or whatever they have going on. Um, but everybody's not playing and everybody's not an internet troll. Everybody's not playing. Everybody's not a Twitter gangster. Everybody's not out here to, to playing for Instagram. Some people got people on their back that really will fuck you up, 69, and kill you. You Y'all just seen what happened to, what's his name, Triple X, and they don't even get me started on him because they got a, his album coming out, and I just wish they would let the fucking boy die. But anyways, and then Kanye West was there, and they said, of course, Kanye fled the scene, and you know, rightfully so, anybody would have. Um, I'm guessing this song is for um, Kanye's next album. Um, here's my issue with all this stuff. I have a brother who's about to be, he turns 18 in March. And it upsets me that this is what they got to look up to, the Kodak Blacks and all these people and that nature and stuff like that. And it's like, you got, they can't different, the, uh, separate real life from the internet and it's like they think my brother was like yeah you know he he uh he's really uh he was talking about somebody you know he really be out here shooting or somebody and i was like you really think they do that he was like yeah well, he raps about it and i was like you have to understand that these people are trying to sell you guys music so they have to you know these people got one girlfriends, they're not shooting nobody. You know, they go to church. Most of them come from, they be like, oh yeah, I had it, I had a struggle and all this shit. They mamas took care of them. They Some of them come from a two-parent family household. You know, it's just like, stop getting caught up in this shit. And it's almost, I hate this culture we come up in for hip-hop and black music. It's almost as if you didn't struggle to get here. Um... It doesn't count. Like, oh, you did, you did, you don't know the struggle. You don't, you don't matter. And it's like, wow. Which, 
I, I do think there's beauty in struggle. I do think, I do agree with that. I definitely agree that there's a difference between a musician who came up selling mixtapes out of their trunk. There's a, com there's a difference between a comedian. Let me start over. There's a difference between an artist who came up selling mixtapes out of their trunk than an artist who came up off of Instagram. There's a difference between a, a comedian who had to go here and ask somebody to book them at a comedy show and hopefully they get booked and hopefully people like them versus a comedian who came up off Instagram and they got millions of followers. You know what I'm saying? So, and the difference is, I had the, 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 the difference is the person who had to work for it, they got person, 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 the hell I cannot speak. <sighs> they have drive. They have perseverance. So they're going to push. As for somebody off of Instagram, if this shit ends tomorrow, they might not know their next move because, you know, shit, you can say something on Instagram and you might be canceled tomorrow. Somebody who struggled from the bottom is from the early 2000s. They done been canceled. I don't, I don't know how many times. And it's like, okay, I'm canceled this week. Next month, they going to love me, so I'm going to be back. You know, I... Um, 69 really needs to calm the hell down. Isn't he on probation or something like that? Like... I hate to say this, but it seems like one day we're going to wake up and he might be next to be dead. Like we lost Mac Miller to drugs. Like y'all got to get something on y'all minds besides drugs, shooting, fucking bitches. And it's like, shots out to the Kendrick Lamars. Shots out to, um, what's, what's, uh. Uh, what's his name? Oh, we don't want no problem. What's his Chance the Rapper? I think Chance the Rapper is really, really great. I love that he uses his platform. You know, he's always donating money. He's also independent, and I love the fact that he's able to be like, you know, I'm not one of those shoot him up, bang, bang, kill him rappers, you know, and I respect and I love that, and I think he's like, married or something like that isn't he i think he is married he has one girl or something like that and even if he is into the side chick thing he doesn't put that on his brand and i love and respect that and as much as i want to blame the artist i gotta blame the consumer because they keep pushing music out so somebody keep buying it I got to blame the consumer as well as the artist as well. But anyways, we about to go for a walk and, um, yeah, we're about to go for a walk, baby. And I'm about to make me some dinner. I might get in here and, um, talk about some other things, but I just really want to get in here and talk about some real topics that's been going on, um, you guys. Yeah, let's get in here and let's chat and tell me what you guys think. Watch out so I can end this.